Meet the largest antelope in the world, the giant eland, also known as the Lord Darby's eland, is one of Africa's most impressive and largest antelopes. Before we move on do well to leave a like and subscribe if you like this content and more. This magnificent creature captures the imagination with its size, distinctive appearance, and the air of mystery that surrounds its elusive nature. Native to the savanna and woodland regions of Central and West Africa, the giant eland stands as a testament to the diverse and awe-inspiring wildlife that inhabits the continent. The giant eland lives up to its name, standing as the largest antelope species in the world. Bulls can reach a shoulder height of up to 180 centimeters, 5.9 feet, and weigh between 400 to 1,050 kilograms, 880 to 2,300 pounds, while cows are slightly smaller, but still impressive at 300 to 600 kilograms, 660 to 1,350 pounds. This massive size makes them one of the heaviest bovids. One of the most striking features of the giant eland is its impressive spiral horns, which can grow up to 120 centimeters, 3.9 feet, long in the largest individuals. These horns are present in both sexes but are typically larger and more robust in males. The horns grow in a distinctive twist, creating a mesmerizing spiral effect that has long fascinated both naturalists and hunters. The coat of the giant eland is typically reddish-brown to fawn, adorned with thin, vertical white stripes that run down its sides. This striping pattern provides excellent camouflage in the dappled light of their woodland habitats. A distinctive black neck band and a pendulous dewlap under the throat add to their unique appearance. Males often have a darker coat than females and may develop a grayish-blue tinge as they age. Another notable feature is the conspicuous click sound made by their hooves when walking. This sound, produced by the two halves of the hoof knocking together, can be heard from a considerable distance and is thought to help the herd maintain cohesion in dense vegetation. Giant elands are found in two distinct populations, representing two subspecies namely, the western giant eland, this subspecies is critically endangered and confined to Senegal, Mali, and Guinea. 2. The eastern giant eland is more widespread, this subspecies is found in Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, and South Sudan. Both subspecies prefer savanna woodland and forest savanna mosaic habitats. They are well adapted to semi-arid environments and can survive in areas with limited water availability. Giant eelands are known for their ability to utilize browse that other animals find unpalatable, allowing them to thrive in habitats that might be challenging for other large herbivores. Giant elands are generally shy and elusive, making them difficult to observe in the wild. They are primarily active during the cooler parts of the day, often feeding in the early morning and late afternoon, and resting in shaded areas during the heat of midday. These antelopes are social animals, typically found in small herds of 15 to 25 individuals, though larger aggregations of up to 60 animals have been observed during the wet season when resources are more abundant. The herds are usually composed of females and the young, with males often solitary or forming small bachelor groups. Giant elands are known for their nomadic behavior, covering large distances in search of food and water. This mobility allows them to exploit seasonally available resources and avoid areas of environmental stress or human disturbance. As browsers, giant elands have a diverse diet consisting primarily of leaves, fruits, and herbs. Their ability to reach high branches, up to 2 meters, allows them to access food sources unavailable to many other herbivores. They are particularly fond of acacias and have been observed standing on their hind legs to reach choice foliage. The giant eland plays a crucial role in its ecosystem as both a prey species and a seed disperser. Their feeding habits help shape vegetation structure, while their movements contribute to seed dispersal across their range. As prey, they form an important part of the diet for large predators such as lions and spotted hyenas and wild dogs, although their size and vigilance make them a challenging target. The conservation status of the giant eland varies between its two subspecies. The western giant eland is critically endangered, with only a few hundred individuals remaining in the wild. The eastern subspecies, while more numerous, is still considered near-threatened due to habitat loss and hunting pressure. The primary threats to giant eland populations include 1. Habitat loss and fragmentation due to agricultural expansion and human settlement. 2. Hunting for bushmeat, particularly in areas of civil unrest. 3. 
competition with livestock for grazing resources. 4. Climate change, which may alter the distribution of suitable habitats. Conservation efforts for the giant eland focus on habitat protection, anti-poaching measures, and captive breeding programs. Several protected areas across their range provide crucial safe havens for these magnificent antelopes. While the giant eland is the largest, it's worth briefly mentioning the common eland, Taurotragus oryx, which is more widespread across eastern and southern Africa. The common eland is smaller than its giant cousin, but still impressive, with bulls weighing up to 800 kilograms, 1800 pounds. It's divided into three subspecies, the East African eland, the Southern eland, and the Cape eland. Please subscribe if you'll like to see more content like this and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any notifications when I drop a new video. Trophy hunting has long been a controversial aspect of eland conservation. Both giant and common elands are sought after by trophy hunters due to their impressive size and magnificent horns. While regulated hunting can provide economic incentives for conservation and habitat protection, it remains a contentious issue. In some areas, particularly for the more abundant common eland, carefully managed trophy hunting programs have been implemented as part of broader conservation strategies. However, for the critically endangered West